Chesapeake Public Schools is moving ahead with bringing more students back into the building. The superintendent says schools do not appear to be connected to the spread of the disease in our community. Several school board members believe they are leading the way for other districts in the seven cities. Then at your side's Brett Hall has the latest tonight. The Chesapeake School Board voting tonight to move forward with Superintendent Dr. Jared Cotton's plan to bring more students that chose face-to-face -face learning back into the classroom. If followed, it could bring high school students back into school buildings within a month. Starting November 9th, ninth graders could return to school in a blended model, which means that they would learn along with virtual students part of the time in the classroom and then be in the classroom for help with the teacher if their parents choose to have them there. Then on November 12th, eighth graders would return in a similar type of blended model. And then on November 16th, two things would happen. 10th and 11th graders and 12th graders, they would come back on to that blending model that would actually only put them into school two out of the five day week. But fourth and fifth graders would come back for a five day week instruction inside the building. Now there was an attempt to bring all students back for a five day week starting November 16th. However, that motion failed on a 3 6 vote. Tonight, many parents addressed the board before they took up that motion. Some in tears over the toll they say online learning is having on their families. Other upset the school system isn't being more transparent on the whole issue. As of right now, many board members say there just is no perfect answer for them, but they don't want to change anything too drastically as they feel that could be a bigger detriment. That's the latest. Fred Hall, 10 on your side. New tonight.